Yo, what's going on, guys? And I wanted to talk about the NBA draft. First off, Shade on Sharp, Dalen Terry, Justin Lewis are all guys that said they are going to stay in the draft. But I want to talk about the guys who are, are leaving the draft, who are returning to school. Shout out Isaiah Wong. Also, comment down below how stoked are you for Isaiah Wong, DeAndre Williams, and, you know, guys like what? Will Richardson, Julian Straw, Strother for Gazanga, Drew Timmy, our old guys, Jalen Wilson, our old guys that are coming back. So we'll run through this and talk about it. So Drew Timmy joins Hunter, Dick Hunter Dickinson, Oscar Schwebe, Trace Jackson Davis, and Backhot as all the guys who are going back. And Timmy's decision came less than an hour to go with the deadline and his return to Gonzaga with Julian is huge okay give some reinforcements for the bulldogs now trevor keels he's leave he's leaving he's not coming back and he's not a guaranteed first round pick and he's one of the younger prospects he's a burly guard but basically duke duke's fine okay like mark mitchell and Derek whitehead are going to be fine now marcus sasser if you guys didn't know the star guard for the houston Cougars is heading back to school, and this is huge news because he spent much of the season with a foot injury injured, and he's going to be able to rebuild some of his draft stocks. He's one of the best shooters in the country, and I bet he'll be a preseason All-American. Now, A.J. Green, he's not coming back. He was going to consider to transfer to Iowa State or Duke, but he's staying in the draft. A.J. Green's an accomplished scorer at, from Northern Iowa. And people thought he was going to go to Iowa State because his father, Ames, is on the staff. A guy that we thought was going to join Hunter Dickinson back to Michigan is Caleb Houston. The Canadian wing declined his invite in for the combine in May, but he made it official that he's staying in the draft rather than returning to Ann Arbor. And I, I bet you his appeal is that his size and catch and shoot ability. Also, Musa Diabate is also going. Both of these guys, I think, look at the Grizzlies. The Grizzlies might take them. Look at the bottom of the first round. Diabate and Caleb Houston could go there. Now, Christian Brown kept his name in the draft, but and so did Jake LaRavia. But Kansas got some good news with Christian Brown going to the draft, but they got even better news. Jalen Wilson, the starting power forward who obviously is going to probably take over Christian Brown and Ochai Abaji's scoring presence and be an all-conference selection preseason-wise for a top-10 team. That's going to be my team. You know me, University of Kansas. Even though I hate Jalen Wilson, I also hate Christian Brown as a Kansas Jayhawk. I am a Kansas Jayhawk. I go to Kansas. I've been there for three years, but it'll be my fourth year. It's good to have him back. Hopefully, he can. people forget his redshirt freshman year during October, November. He was a projected lottery pick. And then he just fell off. He was averaging a double-double, though. He was a beast. David Arati, he's going to go into the draft, even though he's had some shooting woes. He's a, he's going to be a second-round pick easily. But Isaiah Stevens is, you know, going to return. And Isaiah Stevens is likely a Bob Cousy Award nominee in the preseason. So it's going to be interesting. Now, when I look at this, who else stayed in the draft? Obviously, Drew Timmy that stayed Marcus Sasser and I think there's a bunch of guys like I mean Dalen Terry and Trevor Keels were smart to stay in the draft Julian Strother and Drew Timmy make up for the loss of Chet Holmgren okay while you got Musa Diabate he's a big man with Hunter Dickinson coming back Musa Diabate probably knows he's going to be a potential first round pick and I think that's awesome I think that's awesome now Tyler Byrne he opted for another year and i was surprised by that because you know he fits the prototypical nba wing and i love tyler burton but looks like he'll be one of the top players in the atlantic 10 and hopefully go off and improve his draft stock i thought he was going to be a steal for somebody i really liked him and then peter nance he's actually the younger brother of larry nance jr he's transferring from northwestern he'll be 23 on draft night but look he's returning to school to seek a new situation probably build his draft stock but a it was definitely interesting. Also, Chris Murray, the Keegan Murray, younger brother, who's actually his twin, is a projected top 10 pick. While Chris Murray is a fantastic player, shot well, but it wouldn't see. I would be surprised if he isn't a first round pick next year, Chris Murray. And obviously, here, Taquavian Smith from NC State, he's actually returning after probably not liking that he could be a borderline first round pick. He probably thinks he's a first round pick, which he is. 
But hey, that was the video. We ran through that pretty quick. Those were all the guys. So like Julian's rather. I'm not gonna go through it all again, but you guys got the gist of this. Like and subscribe to all the good stuff. <laughs>